What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for kicking the bucket? What? What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here, with a brand new video from Do You Nerd. Okay, not kicking the bucket, but kicking some games out of the bucket list. Okay. That works. <laughs> Chris over at Telesplash Games wanted to know what are some of our bucket list items? Games that we haven't beat, but we really, really want to. We need to get around to finishing these games. Tom and Lacey at Do You Nerd, what do you got? Ladies first, what is something just gnawing away at you that you need to finish? Well, for me, it would be Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I mean, I literally even carry the cartridge around in my game case everywhere I go. I finished everything except I'm literally right at beating Ganon, but I wanted to run around and grab a few more Koroks before I did that, and then a bunch of other games came out. You know, Pokemon came out, and Animal Crossing came out, and just a bunch of other stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll finish that, I'll finish that. And it's it just keeps bugging the crap out of me. But I guess I feel like... I watched you do it and play it, so it's like it's more of just a completion thing for me. So that's why. Mm. Guess next time I need to play the game in another room. Hell no. Oh, hell no. For me, going back a little ways to Breath of Fire 3 on the PS1. I loved my RPGs back in the day, and I loved the Breath of Fire games. I had this problem, though. More often than not with RPGs, I would get three quarters of the way through the game, and I would kind of get a little burnt out. I still love the game, but I needed a break. And that was always a mistake because I wouldn't go back to the games. Yeah. Now there are a handful of RPGs that I never finished, and I know I was right there near the end, but Breath of Fire 3 is the one that always bothers me that I never finished. It's the one that got away. It is. <laughs> and now it's been so long, it's to the point where if I were to finish the game, I'm not going to start up from my old save file. I would probably start the game anew so that I know what's going on, much less where to go. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I'm ready to sink that kind of time into it. Well, for me, it is also going back in time. For Zombies Ate My Neighbor, I have never actually finished that game. Now, I have bounced around with codes to see higher levels here and there, but there are so many levels. Yeah. And it's one of those things that it's like, you know, you can only do so much on a rental because I don't think we ever actually owned the game as a kid. I just always rented it because I loved it so much, which in retrospect, I probably should have bought it, but we didn't kind of have that ability sometimes back in the day. So, it would be Zombies Ate My Neighbor. There's a lot of levels in that there game, too. Are I mean, a lot you of can levels. only play so many, and it's like, <laughs> mm, kind of like Rampage. It's like, ugh. Yeah. After a while. Well, I'm going to go back even older. Zelda 2 on NES. I have played so much of that game, but I've just never sat down <laughs> and dedicated the time to actually finishing it. Hmm. I don't think it actually takes all that long. I think I usually took a little more time trying to level Link up, but maybe I don't need to. Maybe I need to just get good and finish the game. <laughs> for a fifth pick, we kind of met in the middle on one did. that has bugged us for a few years now. It's no secret, we love the LEGO yes, series of do. games. And more often than not, not only do we beat these games, but we complete them 100%. 100%. But LEGO Star Wars 3. Look, we loved the first two. We did, that's actually what even got us into the LEGO series. There was something about the third one though, they really changed it up. It was based off the Clone Wars, and I don't know, it had a much more different flow to it. And honestly, we never even finished the game. I don't know that we even got halfway through it. No, I think we did get a, a little bit, but it was just kind of one of those things. It started to get confusing of where to go, and we thought we would do this, and they were like, nope, you've already done that, and we couldn't figure it out. I don't know. There was just, just didn't work. The fact that we have completed in so many yeah. of the LEGO games, that really bugs us that we haven't completed that one. And 
Maybe someday we'll <laughs> give it another go. Or we could always wait for the remaster version, right? There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to throw out an open tag because I'm actually very curious to know what are some of your bucket list games? Some games that, like she said earlier, they're the ones that got away. For whatever <laughs> reason, you didn't finish them, but they are the games that you probably would go back and finish. Because some games I'm, I'm just not going to go back and play again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. We'll leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe. Ring the bell. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it, even for the games that we never finished. But I swear we will. Someday. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Go finish your games. And call your mother. It's like I gotta... I gotta beat these games. <laughs> Is that the face you're gonna make for the thumbnail? Just looking at me? <laughs> Just when we were doing that. Okay. You prompt yourself. Prompt myself. Okay, ready? Prompt yourself beside the jukebox. Ring the bell and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You already said that. <laughs> don't know where that came from. <laughs> okay. <laughs>